All right, NASA will once again try to launch their pilotless Artemis rocket tomorrow. We've been anxiously waiting for it. I'm sure you have as well. The original launch attempt was scrubbed on Monday because of an engine issue. Well, Fox's Austin Westfall is at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Austin, we know that the weather can prevent a launch like this, but the big question is how likely are we going to see liftoff tomorrow? So Rashi, NASA, uh, NASA is telling us that they're expecting a 60% chance of this rocket lifting off at the beginning of their two hour launch window tomorrow morning. There's an 80% chance that this rocket lifts off by the end of the two hour window. The window is starting at 2.17 p.m. Eastern Time, ending at 4.17 p.m. Eastern Time. NASA did scrub Monday's launch due to engine cooling issues, but after some investigating, the agency says the engine appeared to be working just fine, and a faulty temperature sensor seemed to be the culprit. That's a much smaller problem than if it was the actual engine itself. Now, a small hydrogen leak was also detected, but that problem was quickly fixed Monday morning as well. Once this rocket does lift off, the unmanned uh, mission will not be landing on the moon. It's just going to be orbiting around the moon before splashing down in the Pacific Ocean in October. The intention is to stress test uh, the rocket's ability to withstand high temperatures and radiation before humans join future flights. The hope is to land the first woman and first person of color on the moon in 2024. Later Artemis missions aim to build a long-term presence on the moon for scientific studies and then eventually send the first astronauts to Mars. But before any of that can happen, NASA needs to get this Artemis 1 rocket off the ground. Right now, team has really just done a fantastic job getting us out of launch attempt number one, repairing all the issues and getting us into a safe configuration to proceed into a tomorrow's launch attempt. Now, leading up to the scrubbed liftoff on Monday, local officials expected the launch to attract 200,000 people to the Space Coast here in Florida. But now that it's happening during a holiday weekend, it could be many more than that. They're hoping no one gets let down again this Saturday. But if tomorrow's launch does get scrubbed, the next window is going to be on Monday. Here at Kennedy Space Center in Florida, Austin Westfall, Fox 26 News.